All right. So let's, let's pop on it. over here. So uh, I didn't get a chance to play this. You did. Um, this is a Scooby-Doo Escape from the Haunted Mansion. Um, and this game is from The Op. And yes. Yeah. So so tell us a little bit more about this game. I, I'm, pretty, yeah. I, I'm pretty excited about the style of game, but you, you talk <laughs> a little bit more about it. I am too. Um, this is the latest in the Coded Chronicles game series by The Op. Um, I'm excited by these. These are these are meant to be games like escape room style games, right? Mm -hmm. So you, there's a mystery you're trying to solve it. Um, oh my gosh, the theme song was almost there in my head. Uh, there's a mystery to solve in Scooby Doo. Is it ready for you? Okay, all right. Anyway, um, I don't have it. Um, but I this game brought it all home for me. Like this felt like a Scooby Doo game. Yeah. It was not just an escape room thing with stuff going on. There were classic moments from d or from a scooby-doo in here that i just i loved um this is kind of the the introduction this is what you get in the box you have a whole mm -hmm. bunch of books you get five standees one for each character um you got a bunch of secret envelopes in here you got a big deck of cards um and you also have some map tiles that's basically the whole game and as you are playing you're going to be reading entries in these books that tell you to put out certain map tiles put certain people on those map tiles, you know, flip over certain cards, stuff like that. Um, throughout this game, you are welcome to do anything as long as the rules say that you can. So if I'm starting, this is like the foyer tile. I'm here and Velma is the only person in here. That means Velma's ability is to research things. So I can do some research on the candies on the table for 201. Um, I can't eat those candies because Shaggy's the one who eats things, and Shaggy is not in the room right now. <laughs> uh, I also I can't smell them, I can't use them, and I can't investigate them because uh, they all have different, you know, skills. Um, and this was great. Basically, um, you you move through, right? So you are investigating, reading these these entries, and they tell you more. Um, this one starts with just Velma, right? Something happens, right? And in the read me first, it tells you exactly which of these books to get into first, it gives you the basic scenario. In this one, you are, um, the, the mystery machine breaks down, you go to the nearby house, um, and uh, it's haunted, the butler here lets you in, and uh, as you all run in, something spooky happens, and only Velma uh, is available in the first round here in the foyer. So trying to get out of it, um, this is uh, how the game works, the entire thing. If, uh, if I want Fred here to talk to the butler, then I need to look up entry 5,423, which is in the Fred book. Um, I flip to that and it tells me what's going on. Every card has a different number on it. Um, all the rooms have different numbers all over them. And you're just trying to keep track of the whole thing. Is, um, is there a mechanic for running in one door on a side of the hall and coming out the other door on the opposite side? <laughs> there was not no no but um those sorts of things happened quite a bit actually like oh. um uh i wouldn't say that specifically but there were moments when the team gets broken up like you find other people like just in the con you know like in the cartoon you meet up oh there's fred fred's tied up oh no there's uh there's velma velma's over there um there's shaggy shaggy is trapped in a uh piano or something <laughs> like it's, there's all sorts of just like wacky things um and i i really I really liked it. Like it felt like a Scooby-Doo adventure. Um, inside the envelopes, there's all sorts of things. Like this one was the skeleton key. It gave you like some Tetris pieces, some Tetrominoes um, that you might have to build in order to get through certain doors in the game, stuff like that. Um, it was just great. I mean, yeah, right? <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> it's where you hide. It's just where yeah, you hide. <laughs> Dom, Dom is letting us know he did get trapped in pianos a lot, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, so you didn't have the whole team every time or mm -hmm. at, in every moment, right? And certain entries would be like, oh, <laughs> zoinks, you are <laughs> like these people are there. They're out of the room now or you see something creepy and everybody runs. And now you're just playing, you know, Fred and Shaggy and you're in the kitchen now, something like that. Nice. Um, so it felt like, you know, it felt like Clue a little bit with that people moving around. Um, in this one, you were specifically meeting people. And of course, in every Scooby-Doo story we know what happens when we meet a group of people right yeah. one of them did it yeah <laughs> <laughs> and so like there's there's all these story nodes that are like moving you around and and letting you investigate this whole place but in the back of your mind it's still like one of these people this this place isn't haunted it's one of these people right um which it was just it was a ton of fun to like to know that to figure it out as i was going as i was working my way through nice. um 
I don't remember the rest of the pictures are. I grabbed a couple of pictures here from um, uh, Board Game Geek just because I wanted a few extra samples. Uh, you get your weapons here, things like that. They're not really weapons. They're just things that will let you do certain things that you might need in the game. Um, there were codes. There was there was there was all sorts of good stuff in here. Um, I will say, yeah, that nothing in here puzzle wise is uh, is beyond. Um, uh, I mean, you know, when when you look at a puzzle game or an escape room game, you're like, eh, I don't know if I can do that. This one's going to be fine. <laughs> There's okay. nothing in here that is too difficult uh, at all. Um, uh, I will say, actually, that there's some things that they provide you that expect you to need hints um, and to do oh. certain things. Um, I found out that uh, I got in trouble a couple times. I lost some Scooby snacks um, because I saw a puzzle and I was like, I know how to solve this puzzle. And then I solved it. But like the cards that you get when you need hints or when you investigate a little more were really important. Like they, oh. those were useful. And so I got <laughs> penalized for not accessing them. Um and the game had a couple of those moments, like because you have five characters, yeah. when you see the bowl of candies on the table, you're like, well, I'm just going to have Shaggy eat them. Uh, right. Um, I don't have, you know, Scooby come over and smell the bowl afterwards or some investigation. But sometimes those things lead to clues. So you really want to use all the books and have all your characters available to you so you can search everything all the time. Um to get all the cards you might need to solve the biggest puzzles and figure out exactly who who did it who right. who done did it who's the haunter so uh um, tell me about replayability zero zero <laughs> no okay. this this is this is a game where mm -hmm. when you are done with it you pack it back up and you can pack it back up mm -hmm. um the uh the secret envelopes are taped shut so just retape them you yeah. know um and then give it to someone else okay so, that, so yeah, you can have the adventure so <laughs> similar to um the shining uh, exactly yeah okay yeah. cool there is just one story in there once you've mm -hmm. got it you've got it but the good news about these games is um you can play them with a lot of people there's no limit uh you're just kind of reading the books and, and deciding what to do as a group uh so it's good for solo it's good for a bunch um and unlike some of the escape room games you never have to tear anything up that's so that's good I, you know, perfectly I, replayable by someone else. <laughs> exactly. I, I I greatly dislike games where you have to destroy something, which is why I've never gotten into the legacy games. Although mm. I'm kind of tempted because I don't replay games that much, but there's still yeah. something about it that like uh, that I hate. And I and I remember there was one. It was, we'll look back at Clue, right? Clue, yeah. like you had those stupid pads, and you would. You know, you would check your stuff off and you'd rip it off and throw it away and and that would be it, right? There would be you'd be done, right, eventually. Mm -hmm. And right. <laughs> I, I I dislike that there was a finite amount of times that I could play a game, even though I don't I'm not gonna play it the fifty, <laughs> sixty times. Yeah. Um yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I totally understand what you mean. Like those they just you see it and you're like, this game has an expiration date. And I mean a lot of games do. We just don't realize it because we we only play it three times and then it's yeah. two years later and we're not going to go back to it, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, but uh, but it tells you right in advance that this will be a limited experience. So enjoy it while you can. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Cool. I, I really thought this was fun. And if you are looking to get into this kind of game and The Shining was a little bit too like, okay, that's, that's spooky. Um, this one's just fun. It's just fun. It's silly. It's got Scooby-Doo moments in it. And uh, it, it really felt like the writers did a lot of good dialogue in there. Like when you read the Velma book, you get Velma quotes. You know, when you read the Scooby book, you get ridiculous things. <laughs> um, so I think you should check it out. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So overall, you like this game. You like the style of game. Do you have any more of these reviews for this style of game coming up or are we are we settled for now? Uh, I think we're settled. I think these are the only two that are out by the op right now. Okay. Um, uh, I, I love escape room games, so I may check out a couple other ones. Um, I have a few around here, I'm sure. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, yeah.